hello everyone and welcome to the first playing with myself video. In these videos I'm going to be taking a look at some games that I've been playing lately. Not necessarily anything current, like uh, this game came out in 2009 and it is called Shatter. Shatter is a breakout Arkanoid type game. It's a lot of fun. It's got an amazing soundtrack. So let's take a look at it. I think this might be one of my favorite tracks in the game. It's pretty, uh, it's kind of what you would expect from this type of game. You got a, a paddle and a ball. You gotta break the blocks there, but it's got a couple neat twists. One being that, uh, I can either push objects away from me or pull them towards me, and that affects multiple objects in the stage there. You can see those green blocks are moving towards me, I can push them away. Those, uh, blue little S-looking things. Well, oh, lost a ball. Those little, little S-looking things will uh, fill up my power meter up in the top left, which I can use to do a couple cool things I can show off here in a minute. Like, if those blocks are coming towards me, I can use that power meter to create a shield that'll dissolve them, because if the blocks get past me, my combo multiplier up in the top right will go down, which is bad. These, these types of games are kind of all about that. You're just breaking some blocks. I'm trying to let that soundtrack write itself out because uh, it's great. I don't want to talk too much over it. But uh, being able to manipulate the ball by pushing and uh, pulling towards me really helps to eliminate some of the problems with these games where you have like one block left and it's you're sitting there for like five minutes trying to destroy it, and it gets really aggravating. So these little guys here will actually keep generating those uh, those octagons. And that can get pretty annoying unless we take them out. Kind of bounce that ball around. get a huge power uh, boost there in the top left. What we can do with that is if I hit Y, it'll, it'll unleash a shard storm, which just kind of like mess everything up. It's a real good way to clear out a stage real fast. So you can see here, those green blocks will actually start moving around the environment if I destroy the blue ones there, which I'm on my way to doing. So I kind of want to take the green ones out before the blue ones. But they'll actually stay rooted, even if I'm pushing and pulling, if they're still connected to those, uh, those blue blocks there. It's important to keep them rooted. I should probably start paying attention a little bit more here, so I don't, I'm, not, I'm not doing too great. So you see there's a power up there, if I'd gotten it, it would have done some cool stuff to the ball. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to wait to see that. Alright, let's do this, and this, yeah, there you go. So I can, I can put out multiple balls there, and there's a risk-reward thing there because you'll get a higher score, but at the same time, you lose lives faster if you're not careful, and so far I've been being very careful, so it might have been a mistake. Um, but you can see there, I got a power-up called Unstoppable Ball, which allows my ball to uh, sort of just move through anything without ricocheting or bouncing. And I can get my shield there. Uh, that didn't do much good. If I get hit off the stage, I don't lose a life or anything, but my combo multiplier does go down. And those yellow blocks there, those will keep falling regardless if I push or pull or anything. They, they kind of just operate on their own. So it's important to kind of eliminate those before they can get down here. Lower my multiplier. Ah, there we go. Ah, damn. Gotta be more careful. I missed that one. I didn't want the ball to fall. Now I'm saving my uh, my shard storm there, and I probably shouldn't be, but I think a boss might be coming up pretty soon. I got like two more. I guess I can do it. 
So you, you see here that uh, they varied up the stage a little bit. It's now a circle. It makes it a little bit more complicated, but not too much. Just so add some nice variety. And those uh, those green blocks up there will uh, will split apart. Which can get a little bit frustrating to keep track of, especially since they move on their own. That was the wrong move. There we go, and... Yeah! Alright, so I hope I can get my energy... Oh, it's already up. Cool. Yeah, maybe I'll do another shard storm there. Uh, I think I made a big mistake. Enough energy doing that. Oh man, a series of mistakes. All right, let's get serious. So these levels can actually get really tricky because it's, it can be hard to tell if the ball is gonna hit the uh, the edge or not. All right, so this should be the boss. It gets you so pumped. So you can see here, he's uh, he's shooting things at me there. I have to get on the inside and start hitting him with the ball. The boss fights in this game are actually really awesome. A lot of them are, are pretty creative, and uh, there's a, a good amount of variety. I fought a, uh, a lotus flower made out of metal. I fought a, a snake earlier, which is pretty cool. I think that's the first boss you fight. Oh, man. That's bad. So there's a continue system here. Yeah, you get three credits. So you can keep going, but you lose your your score completely. Which is kind of a big deal. Also, this music is amazing. I promise I'm not ordinarily this terrible at video games. So I've got to crack that outer shell and see if I can get in there. I'm doing a great job of that. Yeah, there you go. That's the way to do it. And if I can get a shard storm going, that would be ideal. Yeah. So unstoppable wall is actually proving to be very useful here. Cut through all that armor. And there we go. And we got him! It was one of the easier boss fights it is early on in the game. So this is a bonus level. Pretty cool. You just gotta keep these ones moving. Your high score will go up the longer you keep them going. Uh, with every hit there. Alright, there we go. Ah, damn. Already lost one. So it looks like it goes up in increments of, uh, 100,000. And there's no, uh, there's no pushing and pulling in this mode. It's just strictly hitting the ball. It'll get faster and faster the longer it goes on, which... So I create a pretty big challenge. It's a little bit more wily too. Uh, I already lost it. That's okay. So that was Shatter. It's a it's a pretty fun game. I think it's about ten bucks on Steam, which honestly could be asking a little bit much because there's only a few hours of content in this game. You could run through it in an hour, or I'm sorry, in an afternoon probably. But it is a lot of fun. It's got a kick-ass soundtrack. Maybe one of my favorites that I've heard recently. I will highly recommend you check it out. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.